Hello people, Professor Piyush here. So today, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain you a simple process, actually a simple new tool uh, launched in SketchUp, which is an ad location, Labs, SketchUp Labs. With the help of that, how can I smoothen these contours? These contours are actually taken out from the old ad location toolbar, which is somewhat here, right? So, but I will tell you what this new one can do. And with the help of that, how I have smoothened my contour like this for the same surface so let's begin the video okay so step one is to add the terrain so i will use the old location toolbar here to add the terrain i have created a detailed video on that you can go through it you can go to my channel and you will find this playlist known as gis and contouring you will find all the contour related videos in that you can go through it maybe some of the videos will help you some other task of your contours Right, so you can see this video, first video where I have explained how to get contour lines of any site in SketchUp and export in AutoCAD using the old method. This video is in detail, but here also I will show you how to do that. Just an overview. So first thing is to add location. You have to click this add location button. If you are not able to find this location tool set, you can just go to view toolbars and you will find the location tool set here. Right, I will tell you about the new tool set by which I'm going to smoothen the contours much better than the old version. But let me first, uh, just to keep a difference, let me just tell you how it is done in the older version. So I will open the location tool set and make sure you are connected with the internet and you're logged into your Trimble account go through your Google Gmail account. And in the search bar on the top, I've already given the site. You can also type your site location, whichever sites you want, you can use this. And yes, you can use the scroll button to zoom in and zoom out. Currently, it's maximum zoom. Uh, the disadvantage of this old version of the location tool set is you can't zoom, you can't zoom much here because the resolution is low. You can zoom out to a certain extent, but if I want to zoom in to get a closer look of my site, I have a limitation here, right? But I will go through it in the map type. I will select the satellite map to get the terrain out of it, the elevation, and I will select the region. So it will give me a grip like this, which I can control, of course. Right? I can change, reduce the size as I want. The important part here is uh, the image provider. If you go here on the right corner, you will see currently I'm using the digital globe image, which is not that high resolution. But if I go to Bing image, it gives me a high resolution image. You can see here, but I can't import it because I need to buy a subscription or plan for this. This is a limitation of the older ad location toolbar. So I have to go for the free one, digital globe, and I will import it as it is. It will take some time to get the image. Yes, it's here now. This process, most of you must be aware of. If you are, you can skip this part and go to the next one. So I will just toggle the terrain to get the shape of my uh, site, right? And let me just go to the front view, change my camera to parallel. And it is currently locked. So I will right click after selection and unlock it so that I can move it to the origin somehow. If you see here, I just need to keep this part till this angle. Don't need to be accurate on that. Next, I will resume the camera to perspective and this is somewhat what I want. And from the top view, I will just create a rectangular surface just, to, just enough to cover the terrain which I have imported like this. And I will double click to select the whole thing at once, right click and make it a group. And then I will just copy it in blue axis. Let's say I want my contour interval to be one meters. So I'll type one and enter. And to do multiple copies of this, I will just copy with the base point, copy it one time, and then I will type, let's say 30 X. You can see at the bottom 30 X and enter. So automatically it will give me 30 copies, which will cover my site almost something like this. It's okay, a little bit of tip. I want to come out. It, it set out perfectly. Next step, it's very easy. Just select the whole thing, right? Make sure your uh, terrain is unlocked. It should have uh, blue outlines. That means it's unlocked. And I will right click and I will go to intersect faces and I will select with selection. And it will take some time. Maybe sometimes it does faster as it did now. And you can see I have got my intersection lines through these surfaces. What happens here is 
if I hide this, let me show you. I will hide the surface and I got the contours lines, right? Straight away. But the disadvantage here in this older version is because of the low resolution of the surface, I am getting these corners and all. I'm, this, the contours are not smooth here. And if you see the bottom also, the quality of the surface, you can see a small niche here and all. The surface is not smooth, right? So I, what I will do, I will just select everything and I will keep this aside. And now I will bring the newer version and see what is the difference. So this is still under testing. This new version, which is known as Add Location SketchUp Labs. You can go to the extension uh, SketchUp warehouse and can search for Add Location SketchUp Labs. You will get this uh, tool here. It's a free tool for now and it is uh, still under testing. So you can download it for free. And if I select this, you will see there is a download button and also they have shared different applications of this tool. What can you do with that? So you can use it as per your requirement. Once you have downloaded, it will give you an RBZ file, which you can install from extension bar here, extension, go to extension manager and install. You can see here, this is already installed, right? So let's start the process with the new version. I will click this and it will open the location. You can see here because I from the older version I've already given the location so it is showing me that your model is already geolocated so automatically it will bring me to the same site so that work is already saved that time is saved so I will use the same site just to show you the difference you can yourself see here what the quality of the image is better here and also if I want to zoom in I can zoom in more right right so there is an option to zoom in to a deeper level which was not the case in the previous older version and I will just click import context. It will take me to the next step where it asks me to set the site. I will use the same site almost. Maybe I will stretch something a little bit. You can use these grips to do that. You can use this move marker to move to set your site. And here at the left side, you will see there are two options. Either you want to download it as a 2D or as a 3D. So currently I want to download it as a 3D. I will select it. I will keep the mesh density to the highest so that so that the profile of the terrain is very smooth and if the profile is smooth i will get my contour smooth right so i will keep it to high i will keep the resolution also to high and the best advantage here is you can now get the bing image you don't have to pay anything here this tool provides you the bing image for free which was not there in the previous ad location which i showed you so i will take advantage of this i will use the bing image and import the site context it will download start downloading the image Right. When the download is done, just click return to SketchUp and you can see my terrain is here and it's you can see the difference, the resolution of this image and the resolution of this image. I can see the tree is very clear here, which is not the case in the older resolution. Right. Let's see what's the advantage here. So luckily I can use the same surfaces which I have created earlier. So I will go to edit and I will go to unheight and I will bring the surfaces. Right. Only thing I have to set, I have to set the surface again in the same way as I did the previous one. So I'll select it, unlock it and I will move it, set my camera to parallel and move it just to match with the origin somehow. That's it. Right. So again, camera to perspective. Now you see the surface is peeping out more here because of the resolution. What I will do, I will just create few more copies maybe to cover it a little bit more or if you want to keep it as it is you can do that just totally up to your requirement i want to do it like this next steps are same as previous select everything right click intersect faces with selection and this time it will take more time than the previous because the resolution of the image is high and the intersection counts are higher so you have to wait be patient if you click in between the sketchup may send you a bug report so wait for it Okay, so intersection is done, you can see, and you can see the lines here are so smoother than the previous intersections, but still they are in pieces, but it's okay. I will just select all these and I will hide it just to show you the difference. You can see, I will hide this as well and hide this surface as well. Now you can see the difference, the contours, which one is smoother, you can decide, right? That's the advantage of the newer uh, tool by SketchUp. And of course, you can easily copy these. You can export the file, file, export, 3D model, 
and you can select the DWG AutoCAD file or DXF file and you can export it. You have some options here also. I have, I have explained all this in detail how to export in that video which I have showed you. You can go through it and learn from that. So I don't want to repeat that here in this video. I just wanted to show you the new tool by which you can easily create your contours smoothen, which was not the case previously. I hope this will help you in your work. See you again with interesting tip. Bye-bye.